Hi everyone, uh, this video will serve two purposes. Firstly, I'd like to apologise for the fact that I haven't answered a lot of the questions on uh, YouTube re-answers and that. The main reason is I'm finding it very difficult to actually read what it says. Now, I've been waiting or rather I've informed the people that I've got a cataract. This is a condition which affects the eyes through old age. All right, I'm over 70 now. Um, and it means that your vision is impaired and have difficulty in seeing small print. In fact, everything looks small. You look at the print, think, my word, that's small. Whereas years ago, you would have accepted it and um, not noticed it. It's just normal print. But unfortunately, this is what it's done. And it's made reading stuff and typing a little bit difficult. So until I get the operation, which would be to replace the two lenses in the eye, um, I'm going to suffer from the same thing. So, you know, if you can bear with me, I don't mind talking, as you can probably find. I find talking quite easy, unlike typing. I have difficulty seeing the figures, numbers, letters, etc. etc. So please, apolo uh, please accept my apology for this. As soon as I've had the operation, whenever that is, I might even have to go private to have it done. Um, I'm seeing the other uh, GP soon, so he will give me an answer. And if the answer's, oh, with the waiting list is going to be a year or something like that, I shall go private. It'll, it'll pay to for me to do that. Um, because, you know, you're missing so much life not being able to see stuff and also um, normal day-to-day -day living is difficult. Driving's made well. As I say, I don't night drive now. Um, things are hard and you get this sort of glazing effect. If you look towards a lighted, not actually at the sun, but if the sun's low down, you get like a haze all around your eyes. And I was told this by the optician. Um, I was also told that, oh, they can't do any anything about getting the operation, which I think is a bit bad. Anyhow, that's my little rant concerning eyes. Back to a barometer. Now, as you know, I have quite a few, few barometers that I've picked up from various places. The early ones I've had were from antique shops, but the majority of barometers I've got, like the lamps, like the telephones and that, have come from boot cells. The odd one from uh, eBay. But this one we're looking at now turned up at my favourite boot cell, Wimbledon, which alas is no more. That is the boot cell. And I was amazed to see this on the, st on the stall. I picked it up gingerly. Because I, there's no price on it. So, you know, you have, have not got to show too much enthusiasm. If you show a lot of enthusiasm, the price goes up. I've learnt that years ago. Anyhow, this was on the table. And it's... Um, a Russian job. There are more of these on show on various sites. They're not common. Well, I don't think they're common. They may be common in uh, in Russia, but here we have the and it's uh, as the name says atmosphere atmospheric pressure. That's in English. The top part there is in a Russian. Cyrillic type lettering. You've also got 
in two, you've got the height around the outside. I haven't looked too, too much of that. Most of the English ones are in inches, but this one isn't. HPG. you also got a temperature readout, degrees Celsius or centigrade. Which points on 15. I tend to look at the innards. Well, I say the innards. I don't, I'm not going to take it apart. But you can see through the little window. If I can make it focus better. I'm also using the new camera. But with a, the lens of the old camera. Which is better for doing these sort of close-up works. Um, in there you'll see, I'm going to prop this up, propping this up on the lamp so you can see what I'm getting at or trying to get at. You can see the diaphragm or the, that is um, a chamber of evacuation. It is that chamber which moves under the air pressure. So the higher the pressure, that would press down and you've got a linkage. Well, I set it up right. A linkage which is slightly different to the ones you normally see. Um, it's an aneroid, obviously based on the VIDI design but it is slightly different the linkage is quite a bit different but the results are the same thing you've got your two needles or pointers this one you would put on where it was the next day the pressure might have remained the same gone up or come down and you get an indication of what the weather's actually doing. Um, I always look and think, well, if it's going up, it's going up's a good sign. The English ones have the old fair, changeable, stormy weather, and so on. But uh, these ones don't have that. I think they're in uh, centimetres, millimetres. Not too sure. Um... As I say, I, um, this has millimetres, of course mm is millimetres, hg is mercury, so it's in millimetres, so the outer is in millimetres. HPA. Someone will probably fill me in on, on what that stands for. But anyhow, here we have the Russian barometer. Also interesting to note, not glass, plastic. All the English ones, or the ones you get over here, English, German, French, are glass, but not the Russian ones. In a way, less chance of smashing them or cracking. Looking at the side, it's on a wooden, got a wooden base, it looks like a brass bezel. And turn it right over, you've obviously got your thing for hanging it. You should have, yes there it is, the adjusting screw. This is provided so that you can adjust the actual barometer from where you live. If you live at the top of the mountain, the pressure exerted would be different than if you lived in a valley. So depending on sea levels, that screw is adjusted and that will adjust the, the um, movement and um, you can set it to what the 
the pressure is at that time to where you live. So if it's 30 inches where you live, uh, 30, no, if it's, the reading is 30 inches set by the Meteorological Office for where you live, you would turn that screw, gently that is, till the pointer rests on 30. Then the barometer is said to be set. You don't have to touch it anymore. What is typical with a lot of Russian equipment is for sealing screws. A little dab of red paint indicates that the back has, n has never been taken off. And also, I don't know what that says, but that was written on the back of the barometer. It's in, it's in Russian, Cyrillic. Someone's written it on there. If anyone out there knows how to translate that, as long as it's not rude, um, I'd be interested to find out what it says. Anyhow, that's more or less it. Um, as I say, I do apologise for not always answering questions and things on there. I would say that